everyone, welcome to the Orchid Hut. My name is Dana and thanks for joining me today for this One Thing You Need to Know video. Um, today's video is about removing tissue from orchids and how to do that properly and then how you need to treat the wound from taking uh, the tissue off. So this is my friend's princess Phalaenopsis. And it has been featured in other videos. I will link those videos down below in the description. I decided that I was finally going to have to repot this. It was beginning to get leaves that were a bit droopy and um, one of the video links down below will explain how the leaves were damaged this way. And I have gone ahead and uh, taken off all of the old sphagnum moss because I am going to repot it today but one of the steps in the repotting um, is to remove the three bloom spikes which I did and I happen to have them in a vase over here I didn't just discard them they were still pretty so I just saved them in a vase and the other thing I need to do before I actually repot it is trim these damaged leaves. I've decided to go ahead and do that. I was a bit undecided at first, but now that I'm going to repot it, I think I want to eliminate this unsightly part here. And as well, we need to treat the places that the bloom spikes were removed. So before cutting anything on an orchid, you do need to sterilize a pair of very sharp uh, pruning shears. Uh, I happen to like these. These are Fiskars brand. They're very sharp and whatever it is that you do decide to use needs to be sharp because it needs to make a clean cut. Um, some people actually use a surgical scalpel for this. Um, sharp scissors might be okay but you do want to be careful that when you cut that it's not chewing and sort of um, mashing the tissue of the orchid, but rather making a clean cut. So before I cut the flower spikes off, I flamed the point of these um, scissors, and I don't want to do it over the paper towel, so I'm going to move over here over the sink, and I will flame the blades once again. Some people use alcohol for this step, uh, but I prefer to just flame the blades. And I did that and I cut the flower spikes and I just cleaned them again, which I really didn't need to do except for demonstrating it to you all before I actually cut the portion of these leaves off. Alright, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and cut this part off. now. Oh, this is a little bit painful, but I think all in all um, it will make the orchid a little bit better looking until it has a chance to grow a bit more from the axis and drop these leaves off the bottom. Okay, so I want to remove this part right here. And so when I cut this leaf, I'm going to be cutting just the tiniest bit away from the part that's damaged. I don't want to cut like right up against that. I want to give it just a little tiny bit of space. And I'll go ahead and do that now. And you can hear how that's a very sort of crisp, clean cut. Okay. And then for this one, this one is even more painful because it's the better part of the leaf. Okay. So again, I'll be cutting it a slight bit of an angle. And because the blades aren't quite long enough, I'll go one direction and then the other. And there's a nice clean cut. You can discard the part that you cut away. And then get your cinnamon. So what I like to do is get the tip of my finger just the tiniest bit wet so that I can touch the cinnamon in there. Now I only use the cinnamon for this purpose. It's kind of my reserved jar. And I'm going to touch each of the bloom spikes. And you're probably thinking, hmm, I wonder what cinnamon does. Well, 
Cinnamon is a desiccant, okay, and it's going to help that wound dry. And it also has antibacterial properties, so it will prevent infection from getting into that wound. Now, you might be able to see, made a bit of a boo-boo here, some of that cinnamon dropped down onto this root. And that's the very thing you really don't want to have happen because you don't want to dry up uh, the precious root system that you have left. So I'm going to take this to the sink right there and I'm going to rinse that cinnamon off. Okay. So cinnamon is now gone from the root, but I did not rinse it off of the cut spike. All right, now for the leaves. You want to take the cinnamon and go along the cut edge. And just touch it back and forth a few times. You know, it does not have to be like, you know, just uh, globbed on there. A little bit goes a long way. And then this one. And the cinnamon will kind of stick there just naturally because that cut is wet from the moisture that's inside the plant. And I'm going to take it to the sink and blow the excess away. Okay. So, this orchid now has had the tissue cut away from it that needs to be before I repot it and all of the cut edges have been treated with cinnamon. So that's what you need to do when you repot an orchid and um, either bloom spikes or leaf portions need to be removed. One thing to know about orchids. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button and subscribe with the button in the bottom right hand corner of the screen.